Welcome to Ritual Scale Modelling. For my next uh, build, I'll be building this Airfix no North American F86F EM Saber Scale 172. Um, there's a couple of options uh, on, on this kit, you can see here for the markings and painting. The instructions are nicely laid out for the effects. It is an older kit so the instructions are a bit basic. It comes with the pilot. I won't be doing it with the pilot in, I don't think. But I made I made decide to. So yeah, these are okay. We have a few different options here. So so for the um, air brake open or closed. Which is nice. Um, for the uh, options we have North American Saber MiG Mad Marine Float. So obviously that's there for attacking the MiG, probably the MiG 19 or something like that. So we've got this one and then we have this one. And this one's Agura Cooper. Okay, can't pronounce that, but there you go. Um, this is a skill that I'm going to be doing it in. Um, scheme even, not skill. Um, I quite like the yellow and the blue contrast. But because I'm painting in yellow, um, I'll be using a rattle can for this paint here because um, paint brushing on yellow is very, very difficult and time consuming. So on the sprues, we have four sprues. We have the main one, fuselage. The two wing pieces and the general pieces on, on the force sprue. There's some weapons there as well if you wish to put them on. And I'll have a look at the pilot here. Yeah, the pilot's alright, might do it, might not. The canopy um, on the clear part sprue. It looks like a basic canopy in two parts front section and rear section and the decal sheet. Now the decal sheet is quite extensive as you can see for your two options <coughs> excuse me um, it's giving you the options of these markings here um, instead of painting them you can put a decal in so I'll decide what to do on that whether I wish to paint them or I'll just put the decal on I haven't made my mind up yet so there's a, a lot of de uh, decals here, so there's a lot of detail in the kit. So it should um, build up into a really nice kit. So let's find out, shall we? Let's go on with the build. To begin with, like always, I'm painting the base colours on the sprue. So um, I'm painting mostly in Humbrol uh, colours there. So the um, inside colour is Humbrol 64 Light Grey and um, that will be for the cockpit and inside the um, fuselage. For the detailing, like this, uh, the foot plate, I'm using Humbro 56 aluminium. So th this colour is basically going over the instrument panels f as, as well, from the main heads of instrument panel to the, the side areas. And then once that's all done, it's time to put on uh, the little instrument panel decal. So there's uh, one for each side and one for the main one. For the small kits, um, I find it easier to put the uh, decal on while the part's still attached to the sprue. Just easier for handling, I think. Although you do have to be careful that it doesn't overlap on the edge. Now make sure the decal's completely dry before uh, you start fitting the part or it will just come off on your hand. So dry it, varnish it, then oh, it's uh, time to fit it. The pilot seat was painted in uh, two colours. Uh, the first was Revel 08 Black Matte, and the second colour for the cushion part of the seat was 66 Olive Drab Humbrol. The cockpit assembly was uh, straightforward, um, if a little bit unconventional, 
there's uh, one part that I did really like about it. This little box here uh, goes on the front of the um, cockpit. Now you don't see that, but what that's designed to do is to hold um, the weight uh, that you're going to be placing in the no nose cone. So there's a little compartment that you can put in. Now you can either fill, fill it up with liquid gravity, cement, well, uh, plastic parts, nails, whatever. I'm using plastic soon because um, I'm not actually having it up with the wheels down. Once the cockpit was assembled, it's time to place it into the fuselage, as you can see here. I went in straight forward. Once that was in place, I uh, bonded the two fuselage parts together. No en any difficulty here. I forgot to mention, I did place in the um, the exhaust um, f for the aircraft part that goes in inside it. That was painted with Humbro Aluminum 56 and uh, that just sits in a little recess there and the the two halves of the fuselage as you can see there bonded really well didn't need to have a clamp on it you may need one um, at, at the tail end just at the edge of the tail where it meets the fuselage um, but I just held it together so I placed on the top part of the cockpit with the uh, cover and that, that was painted in the um, outside colour which is Umbro 64 light grey before putting on the nose cone. The nose cone was painted in the same colour on the inside but I did change that later on. If you're putting the, all the weapons on you have to drill a couple of holes on you. Just using my pin drive here to make a couple of holes. There is um, some recesses in for marks so that you, you don't get lost. And uh, once I did that it was uh, time to bond the um, two parts of the wing together. A couple of clips needed for this. The rear wings didn't need anything doing to them, they were just uh, simply pushed into the location points. The bottom wings uh, attached to the fuselage now and um, they fitted really well, just uh, clip them in with a little bit of cement and you shouldn't have any problems. Painting the, the weapons now and the first colour is um, Revel Aquacolor 90 silver and second set, these were painted in Humbro 66 Olive Drab. Next to go in with the landing gear coverings. Uh, two options whether you can have them open or closed. Uh, the kit does give you um, a whole piece or s separate sections. Um, same with the um, main wheels as well. And then next to go on with the uh, side air brakes. Um, th th these can be in the open position. They, have, they give you a little piston so they, they can be held open. Now it's time to paint. Now originally in the intro I said I was going to paint yeah, using a rattle can but I decided in the end just to hand paint. So the colour I'm using is Humbro 24 Yellow Trainer. Now the reason why I decided to do that, I, I did um, come up with a, a better way to paint yellow because yellow is notoriously difficult to paint. First of all make sure your primer is white then just take um, a very thin a uh, little uh, bit of paint on your brush take a little bit off if you've got too much using a kitchen towel and then just gently put it on this is the first coat uh, I'm putting on it only took two coats the second coat I use a, a harder brush like a stipple brush and um, I put it on using a swirly motion and it gives an even coat but um, depending on how hard you press the brush down, uh, you can get different um, depths of colour into it, which makes the aircraft look used. So as you can see there, it's drying. Then it was on to uh, painting the canopy, and I'm using for that Revel Aquacolor 08 black. And uh, just a steady hand required here, just to draw along uh, the lines with your paintbrush. Again, if you make a mistake, like I've said before, just use a cocktail stick and uh, rub away any excess paints over the line. Now it's time to paint the top half of the fuselage. So using the same technique again, first coat, a very light coat. Um, don't press hard on the brush at all. Just let the brush drag over the um, area that you're painting. And once that's dried, I'm going on to the nose cone. I'm using Humbrol's 14 French Blue for this. Um, 
It's an okay, it's not my favourite blue, but um, since it's Umbro kit and, well, an Airfits kit, and I'm um, using the decals, that's their closest match to decal car. And this colour carries on down onto the underside of the nose. You, you just want to make sure that um, you, you get it lined up properly with the yellow for when the decals go on. Or, of course, you can just paint the whole thing and not put the decals on using masking tape. And now it's time for the wings to be painted. Just putting on the, the last coat snell for that. I'm using Rebel Apple Colour 90 Silver to paint the pylons and Rebel 08 Matte Black for the um, area around the cockpit. And it's back to Rebel Apple Colour 90 Silver and this is for the tip of the tail and also the um, end part of the fuselage that meets the exhaust. It's just a small area, the part where the exhaust is, just um, over from the uh, the actual exhaust unit itself. Now I'm using an airfix stand to display this model, so I'm just taking the the bracket that goes inside the plane, dipping it in a little bit of white paint, and then placing it on the the, the, the on the underside of the fuel large. See there, so I end up with two little white dots. Then I just take my pen drive and uh, drill uh, two little holes where the dots are, and um, that that will give you the um, area f to put the bracket in. Now it's time to put the cockpit on. I, I put on the front half first, uh, just as in its recess before putting on the uh, main part of the cockpit. Just make sure it's clear of any de debris before you put it on. Uh, it matches up really well. Now for a spot of varnish, so I'm using Pledge Clear uh, Polish. Uh, acrylic varnish here, just paint all over the aircraft for the decals. And once the varnish is dry, I'm just highlighting the uh, panel lines with a, a pencil. This, uh, for me, is better than using a wash, uh, especially on lighter models. Uh, for me, it has the added bonus when you're um, re varnishing that the graphite can run very slightly, which gives it um, a worn look. Now it's time to put on the decal, so I'm using decal fix as a solution agent. So soften up the decal in warm water, then use your solution. Um, I, I put it on, on the actual model itself with a soft brush before applying the decal. So there's quite a lot of decals here to put on. Obviously you've got the main ones, which are, are straightforward, but then there's a, a lot of small ones. But once they're on, it's time to put on the pylons for the weapons. So just make sure that you know where your location holes are. Um, if your decal is covering them, just feel around until, until you get them. I mean, the decal should have settled into the hole anyway, but if it didn't, just run your finger around until you feel the hole, then mark it with uh, a cocktail stick so you know where they are. And the reason it's better to put the decals on first um, if you're putting the pylons on because um, you don't want to be cutting the decals and trying to place them uh, in, in between. It'll just look wrong. So once the pylons are on, it's time to put on the weapons. And there's a couple of little location points that they uh, just sit on. So you, you have to be patient with, with this. Um, just roll them on, then hold them until they set. So I'm using Revel 08 Matte Black for the painting the front part or the on the fuselage next to the cockpit and it's just a, a black stripe that runs down the top here and once that was all dry it's time to put the decals on uh, for the top half of the plane I'm using the same method as before with the solution just putting on the main decals first then all the little decals and there's a lot of uh, small decals on here and finally, after a good amount of drying time, it's time to seal them all in with uh, some more uh, varnish. Well, that's going to bring the build to an end. Um, it was a nice little build, this one. Uh, it's a good kit for me, I think. It's a good skill uh, to build a Sabre in. There is um, other Sabre out there, 148 and so on, which I do have, but I do like the skill for the Sabre. If you have time, why don't you check out the other videos on my channel? I'm sure there's something there for everyone. 
throw me a like, leave a comment, whatever you, you feel is necessary. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.